I love this, this idea of the big reconnect and that it came from this recognition of the disconnect many, many years ago. Actually, it started while I was living in an ancient redwood tree. And uh, I went up there for the redwoods. Uh, but when I, when I was up there for a while and I, I got involved in like the hardcore part of this direct action movement, I didn't have any direct action experience at all. My very first action was climbing in a tree and hanging out there for a couple of years. And so I just kind of learned the hard way. And uh, while I was up there, there was this one day where I was on the phone. I had a solar-powered phone in the tree and working with activists on the ground. And we were trying to plan an action. And wouldn't you know it, all of our differences started to arise. Uh, And here's the thing. Everything in the natural world of which we are a part teaches us that our differences as diversity is vital and healthy and beautiful. It brings out the best in us. And because we're human beings with a lot of wounds, our differences can also bring out the not best in us. And so in this conversation, the not best in us was really coming forth. And when I hung up the phone, I started climbing around on Luna, and I was actually crying because I was like, wow, like, if this is the best we have to offer, and I, got, I suffered a huge amount of despair in that moment because I was like, wow, if this is our best, we don't have hope. And as I was sitting there crying and hugging a branch of Luna, I was like, how do we think we're ever going to end clear-cutting if we're so effective at clear-cutting one another? And as I was seeing from miles, I could see from miles in every direction from Luna's branches, I could see these patches of gorgeous forests and then these decimated clear-cuts where they cut everything down and then they go in and light it on fire with diesel fuel and with napalm so that all that's left is like it literally looks like a bomb has dropped on there. And as I was looking at it, I got this aha that we all know, but I got it in this very real way, that all the wounds in the external world are the manifestation of the wounds that are within us. And then we act it out on each other and we act it out on the earth, but they exist within us first. And so in that moment, I realized that even though I was in the, in the redwoods to help the forest, that I got this whole new level that every single issue, whether it's the destruction of our ancient forest, nuclear war, genetic modification of food, the prison industrial complex, whatever the issue is, that every single issue is a symptom of the disease of disconnect. Everyone. And so it's so beautiful that the theme this year is, is the great reconnect because not only are we talking about it here, but we're getting to experience how beautiful it is and how healing it can be to think about and plan connection at every possible step. And I am aware from my experience in the tree as well that I'm most famous for what I did, but it just means more people are up in my business that... The truth is that I couldn't have done it without a phenomenal ground support team. And so there's this ground support team here, and I encourage everyone in this room and tell your friends who are out there that every time you see someone volunteering or working here, tell them thank you. Our collective experience is directly related to their service. Our joy, our celebration, our ability to dance, our ability to be free, express ourselves, celebrate our diversity, all of that that's happening in our collective experience is directly related to all these nameless people who we might not ever know or see again, and yet they are contributing to our celebration, right? Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely, team.